Welcome back to the Paris Dairy Olympic Boxing Hall. Davy Noel of France and Andre Berto of Haiti. What a long, strange trip it's been for the 20-year-old Berto, born in Miami, fighting out of Winter Haven, Florida, after all kinds of problems in the U.S. Olympic trials and a disqualification and an appeal that was overturned. Weeks later, Berto, both of his parents are from Haiti, wound up in a qualifier and is representing Haiti. Xavier Noel of France, 28 years of age, and there is the 20-year-old Berto. Berto, a bronze medal at the World Championships and a silver medalist at the U.S. Nationals. And Teddy, for both Noel and Berto, two boxers that have an opportunity to medal here at the Olympic Games. Noel, a silver medalist at the European Championships this year. This is a very tough draw in the first round. It makes you think about the people that say there should be a seeding in the Olympics. If there were a seeding, as you just said, these two fighters would be not fighting each other right now. They'd be positioned where they'd have a better chance to be in the medal rounds. It is a blind draw, though. That's the matchup that they face. Noel of France in the red, Berto of Haiti in the blue. Berto facing a very difficult style with Noel. You see immediately the height of Noel. If that's not enough, add to the fact that he's a southpaw. And he knows how to use his height. Stays on the outside, lets you take the chances and tries to catch you on the way in. So far, Noel of France and the red off to a good start and a 5-1 lead. Berto was winning at the Olympic trials against Juan McPherson. Berto pushed down McPherson. He was injured. Berto was disqualified from the U.S. Olympic trials. He appealed. He was reinstated. He beat Vanes Matarosian, the U.S. representative, but then... He was disqualified again on an appeal. He went to the qualifier, the America's qualifier, and lost to Matarosian, but still had enough to qualify as a member of the team from Haiti. Berto having trouble with the style and the height, the physical height of the Frenchman Noel. At first glance, Berto has the right idea to get inside with the taller Noel. Use your jab to work your way in. But when the height and the distance is as extreme as it is with the very tall Noel, it's not a matter of using your jab, it's how many jabs. Berto needs to double and even triple up the jab to properly close the gap with the tall Noel. Now Noel scoring early against Berto. Noel fighting tall. Using that southpaw jab. And here you can see an example that we spoke of of Berto having trouble with the physical height of Noel. Noel. A surprise to be in Athens. He upset Romania's Darrell Simeon, an Olympic bronze medalist at the European Championships, lost in the final to Oleg Saitov of Russia, but that was enough to get him to the Olympic Games. His father was a boxer as well. He was at the National Institute of Sport and Physical Education in Paris. Round number two underway, Noel in front, 7-2 to against Andre Berto, representing Haiti. As soon as you see a tall opponent in front of you, as is the case with Noel, the first thing that should come to your mind is, I must eliminate his best weapon. And if a man is tall like Noel, usually that weapon will be a jab because there is no better way to exploit your height than to use that jab, the punch that can get there first. 
they can lead the way. So if you're the shorter opponent as Berto is, the first thing you want to think of, how do I take that jab away from Noel? One way to do it is to use your own jab. But again, as I said earlier, Bob, one will not do it with somebody as tall as Noel. To close the distance with Noel, Berto must double, possibly triple up the jab to get to the proper range. Noel in front by 10 right now as Berto lands the left hand. Distance will dictate how many jabs you need. In this case, distance will dictate several for Berto. Berto has been coached for the past 10 years by Tony Morgan in Winter Haven, Florida, a few miles outside of Orlando. Berto able to unleash some power shots and get right back in it. And an eight count being given to Noel. And as you say, Bob, only one point for that. But what's important is two things here for Berto. One is, after having a tough start, now he has something to put together with confidence, something to feel good about. He was down by 10. He's cut that deficit in half. He can ride this little wave of momentum, this little confidence that he received when he was able to give that eight count to his opponent, Noel. So it doesn't matter that it's only one point. What matters is how he feels about himself. And it's a lot better at the end of the round than it was at the beginning of the round. In round number two, Berto starts to find his range, Teddy. And that's the simple formula for fighting somebody as tall as Noel. Get close, let the hands go. Here comes the eight count. Berto gets into range, misses the left hook, but the right hand gets down the middle. Noel's fall.